Have you ever seen the Musée Atelier Audemars Piguet, designed by Big and wondered how it's made? At least I did. Its spiral shape is not just visually impressive and clever blend of form and function, but also really challenging to build in 3D. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create it using only Grasshopper. The model will be fully parametrical, so you'll be able to adjust the number of turns, minimum and maximum radius, scaling along X and Y, rotating the scaling plane, adjusting the middle part size and setting the height range for the spiral surfaces. Without further ado, let's get started. In the first part of the tutorial, we are going to construct a set of points that will form an Archimedean spiral. First things first, we are going to use the point cylindrical component. This guy is key to our spiral. So we begin by setting up a plane and it will be a base of the spiral. Next up, we need a bunch of rotation angles. We'll use the range component to get values evenly spaced from 0 to let's say 5 pi. If you want more twist in your spiral, just crank up those rotation angles. Each point of our spiral needs to be distanced from the center. We're gonna use range once again and domain ends represent minimum and maximum distance. After we got our points, it's time to bring up our spiral to life with the NURBS component. Alright, we have one spiral, but if we check out the top view of the project, you will see we need two. No problem, I'm just gonna rotate all the points 180 degrees around the spiral center. Then we'll use NURBS again to whip up our second spiral. One goes in branch 0, the other in branch 1. In the next step, we'll add possibility to modify curves with scale and U component. I'll set the scaling factors for X and Y directions, Z I will keep by default. I'm thinking 1.3 for X and let's keep uh, Y at 1. Of course you can change later if you want. We'll also need a base plane right at the center of our spiral. And here's the cool part, we can adjust X and Y directions by rotating base plane. Our goal here is to make two spiral surfaces from these two curves. To achieve that, we'll connect them with lines and then using loft component we'll create the surfaces. Let's focus now on one spiral and if we visualize vector that will be used to create connection lines with another spiral, we can notice a small issue. In the middle part there is not an option to make connection lines with another spiral in the same way. No worries though, we'll cut that part. So first I will evaluate the curve at the start, then we're going to compute vector cross product based on the tangent and world z-axis. This will be projection directions, point to project will be start points and geometry to project onto will be these two spirals. But be careful, we need to switch their position in data tree. These two projected points will be used to split curves, but in order to split them we need to know the parameter and we can get that from curve closest point. We can either directly place this value in shutter component that is used to split curves, or we can add possibility to trim the curves even more with additional slider. Once we split the spirals, we'll measure its part and keep the longer one. Now I'm going to generate equally spaced horizontally aligned frames because I will use their y-axis vector to project origin point on untrimmed spirals. In order to create connection lines between two spirals, we'll connect projected points and horizontal plane origins. We are going to move them up along the world z-axis and their height will be based on Gaussian curve. First, let's create a list of values from 0 to 1 with the range component, match the number of values to the number of lines, we'll then use the graph mapper with Gaussian graph type to remap these values. Next, remap these again, but this time the height range we want for our spiral surface. And voila, we can create our 3D spiral surface with the loft component, but wait, there's more. We're going to fill the middle gap and add floor surface. 
we'll use lines on the XY plane and loft to make spiral surface in 2D. And simply with region union, we can get boundary of two surfaces that we need. I sort them by area. The bigger one stays in the same position and the smaller one will lift along Z axis by our minimum spiral height. After moving it, we'll create a single poly surface from two spirals and flat middle part. Finally, let's extract the boundary curves and use ruled surface to make walls. So to sum up, here is what you can modify. The number of turns, minimum and maximum radius, scaling along X and Y, rotating scaling plane, adjusting the middle part size and setting the height range for the spiral surfaces. In the extended version of this tutorial, we are going to continue building up our project and bringing more realism. We are specifically going to focus on trimming glass walls in order to get open space inside. This will be a bit challenging as we need to generate the right trimming shapes that will require certain data tree adjustments. Also, we'll use multiple conditional statements to choose which split surface to keep. This you can watch on our Patreon page and support our work at the same time. You will also unlock our full library of extended tutorials and project files. If you'd like to know exactly how to create complex projects like these, and if you're interested in step-by-step -step learning approach starting from zero, make sure to check our Grasshopper Complete course, where you'll find over 60 hours of video material structured in a form of video library, covering in depth more than 500 Grasshopper components through practical examples. And you'll have access to us personally, so we can answer all of your questions right away. The link is in the description.